My name is Carlin Persa Marsica. I am the CEO and founder of KDPM Consulting Group Inc. and the founder of the Sister Talk Leadership and Wellness Academy. Sister Talk started uh, due to my battle uh, to find a place to belong. I really call myself an accidental group creator. Um, I didn't set out to create a women's group, but um, working on Bay Street um, as a black immigrant woman, trying to find my place, feeling like I don't belong, but also not having the language for it, uh, led me to having conversations with other women, uh, mostly women of color, um, who were also struggling with the same thing. and. Um, it turned out into let's have a girls night and have a conversation. So Sister Talk is a women's uh, leadership network. Uh, we come together to have conversation that matters that goes beyond the boys, the bags and the shoes. And we deconstruct things like shame and vulnerability and what it means to be a woman in today's society. But most importantly, how can we be our true and authentic selves in a world that's constantly telling us that we're not good enough or we need to be a certain height size shape, color, uh, we need to wear our hair a certain way in order for us to be successful. So it's a place for women to be bold, to explore their brilliance, and most importantly, uh, to make a difference in the world by being your most authentic and vulnerable self. Ah, to my female founders out there, I say ask way beyond your comfort zone. Uh, the first thing I would say is, A, we we are conditioned to do three things, perform, perfect, and please. And it's something I learned from my virtual mentor, Dr. Brené Brown. If we understand that every single thing we do will be critic, criticized, will be criticized, um, will be dissected from top to bottom, just know that no matter what you do, someone will try to tear us apart. So why not ask for what you really want? So that's the first thing. Go way above and beyond your bold ask. And number two, understand that you will feel uncomfortable asking for that one thing. Because we have been conditioned to perform perfect and please, putting ourselves first or asking for what we want, from a brain-based perspective, it feels very foreign. And the brain sees that as danger. So the number one thing it would say is that, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Don't go there. Why are you asking? Get back in the background. Play small. You know, shrink. This is the brain's natural language for us women in terms of our performance and our behavior. And you have to understand how the brain works. The brain works with little, I call them like little pockets of assumptions. And it says, Carlin, here is all the data I've collected for Carlin from the time she was born, from her environment, from what society is telling about her, from um, her cultural upbringing, and this is the little box I've placed Carlin in. Now, as a woman, especially as a racialized woman, I'm saying, no, actually, I want to go beyond that box. I want to create new possibility pathways, and I want to create new models. It means that I have to ask for something that's outside of that box. So the discomfort that you're feeling, it's normal because the brain does not have the data of that big dream that you're going after. So A, feel uncomfortable and know that every single other woman you see out there who's asking for something, they're uncomfortable too. And they are scared just as much as you are scared. So that's one. And number two, get really clear about your why. The why activates a certain part of your brain. So once you stamp that and you give the brain that data, now you can redirect your brain from the fear part of the brain to now the purpose part of the brain, which activates your creativity, your innovation, and all the, the things that you need in order for you to really cultivate that bold ask. And the third thing that I would say is practice, 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 because practice makes for improvement, right? So practice with your friends, practice in the mirror. Um, and if you're not scared in terms of what you're asking for, that means you need to dial it up a little bit. Because the brain we're all walking around with, it's from 200,000 gazillion miles, you know, millions of years ago. So it doesn't understand how to survive in today's world. It didn't have an online system. Our ancestors didn't have internet. No, they either yelled or meet each other by the tree and then they all went out down the path to go hunt or, you know, and, and, and they gave each other, they remind each other, look at that tree over there you know lion was there the last time so don't go there so the brain is constantly looking for where are the places i shouldn't go for the fear zones so we have to create our our reality we have to create our bold ask we have to define our why we have to go and find the tribe and the people who will support us with that why so in the success planner every month i have something called the bold ask so people can start training their brain to consistently ask for what they want and make asking a part of your everyday 
The minute you do that, you teach your brain that what you want matters. And then when you're ready to make that bigger bold to ask for your business or what is in your marriage, what is in your relationship, now your brain understands that this matters to you and you won't be scared as much as you did when you originally start. So I would say just, just start there and just know that you will consistently be uncomfortable and that it's okay because it means that you've got a healthy brain and it's working.